this was precisely the prescription for what a press system should do according to Goebbels in the Third Reich. His Nazi motto, his goal for the Nazi media was quite clear. He said, I want that the more people consume our media, the less they will understand about an issue and the more likely they will be to completely support the Nazi policy on the issue. I mean, that was his stated goal. And uh, to the extent our media, any media, or Fox media in particular, does this, it confirms or conforms to the Goebbels model, it should be uh, something that deeply concerns all of us. When were the policies put in place that let a handful of corporations own everything? Was this what the Founding Fathers wanted? When broadcasting came along, whose idea was it to let two or three companies dominate the whole commercial system and sell advertising to support it? Unlike other countries like Canada or Britain or France, where broadcasting was made a public service and was non-commercial without advertising. So that led me really into my historical work, which is to examine you know, why we came up with the system, what was the caliber of the political debates. And what I discovered, and what was most striking, was that our media system in the United States was not a natural system. It wasn't something that the Founding Fathers, you know, Moses handed a tablet to Thomas Jefferson who handed it to Rupert Murdoch, thou shalt own all the media. It was nothing like that at all. In fact, in the founding period of the Republic, uh, in the first few generations of the early Republic, the vision of what a free press was was diametrically opposed to what we have in the United States today. The vision of a free press in this country's first century was that freedom of a press was a right for all Americans, whether they were rich or poor. It was the right of a free people to have a rich and diverse press that examined what people in power did and people who wanted to be in power so you could control your own destiny, control your own life. The idea that freedom of the press was a commercial right for wealthy investors to do whatever they pleased to make as much money as possible and to exploit their monopoly power to push their own politics, that's only a recent idea. That's only something that's emerged when you've had wealthy, powerful media owners with that much power and they use it as ideological subterfuge to protect their very privileged position.